Good morning everyone. I am Jennifer Alex Stephen. I am a second year student of International Faculty of General Medicine, Tashkent Medical Academy, Uzbekistan. And my scientific supervisor is Mirkami Dova Severa, Mirmak Murdovna. She is an assistant of the Department of Public Health and Management of our college, Tashkent Medical Academy, Uzbekistan. And uh, today my topic is about uh, uh, looking after our mental health, uh, this study was held by me uh, to show the uh, current growing trend globally, uh, which is our mental health. And this study carry on our uh, mental health, uh, which cares about our mind, body, as well as the spirit. So uh, this uh, study was made by me because uh, currently our global issue uh, is mental issues like uh, everyone even the students teachers staffs uh, workers non uh, educated people even the educated people everyone is suffering from this uh, kind of uh, mental uh, health issues only so i preferred this topic as my main topic like looking after our mental health so we'll go on First, the learning agenda will be what is mental health, why it is becoming a global issue and why it is crucial nowadays and how to maintain our mental health and uh, when we should uh, seek the professional help like a uh, physio, uh, psycho, psychiatrist, even the physico, the physiotherapist because uh, when mental depression or mental health increases, the people are pushed to do, do su suicides they may get fractures in uh, attempting suicides. So the doctors, medical professionals, everyone is uh, very much involved in this uh, global trend, which is uh, affecting our uh, mental health nowadays. So mental health disorders is becoming a very big issue nowadays. So these are my learning agendas in my study. So what is mental health? Uh, whether it is the growing uh, global issue we have to uh, analyze with that uh, so that is my topic so what is the mental health and is it a current growing global trend uh, nowadays so what is mental health mental health is a global oriented concept it uh, encompasses our emotions our psych and our social interactions so it is everything so once if a person is affected by mental health uh, obviously it will reflect uh, in his emotions in his behavior and even with the interaction with the society with the people who is living with him even maybe his closed ones or he it can be his colleagues or it can be his uh, uh, persons who is not known to him he can become uh, he can show his emotions in variant way so these are the things affecting the mental health so growing global trends in the changing world so having good mental health is more than the absence of illness rather it's a state of holistic well behaving so if the people if the person is having a, an issue in the mental health it can uh, reflect in his well-being also, in his behavior also. So having a mental good health is having more than the uh, absence of illness. So even if the person is sick, it can be cured. But if the patient, if the person is having any disorder in their mental health, it is very difficult for the person to survive in this world. So it is good to have a good mental health to live in a current society. So... It is more common that we think like in the world it is uh, found that one in four alone experience a mental health disorder in the current changing world so if we see the world uh, more than 25 percentage of the population is affected by depressions mental health disorders maybe neurological disorders and everything so it is found by the researchers that one in four adults are experiencing a mental health disorder in the current world 
so next is mental health is becoming crucial nowadays like mental health issues can range from anxiety depression bipolar uh, disorder schizophrenia and other related condition these conditions can significantly affect an individual's ability to function in their daily life work and relationships so when a person is affected by mental health disorder obviously uh, they will be affected by any depression maybe an anxiety or any disorders which can uh, also affect their physical health also so mental health is directly uh, we cannot say directly but indirectly it is affecting the physical health of the patient or the person who is having mental health disorders so how should i maintain a mental uh, maintain a good mental health so the practical recommendation are as follows so first it is uh, we should acknowledge our own feelings then we should be connected with others we should not be alone we should not have everything in our mind we should share it to the persons who is very close to us and uh, we should um, share it like uh, we should be connected with everyone even it can be friends it can be neighbors it can be the persons who we, uh, who you love the most so we should be connected with them then a recent study has found that uh, nearly 43.2 percentage of people who is having good exercise uh, routine is having good mental health compared to the people who is not having proper exercise routine so we should uh, maintain our health by doing exercise also so develop coping skills we should take a deep breath and then relax if you are getting any anger issues and we have to embrace the five senses that is seeing hearing sensing uh, with our taste foods and everything so we should embrace the five senses and we we should be in touch with our thoughts and our feelings with others and uh, everyone like we should be uh, presentable that is the thing mental issues are affecting everyone it can happen to anyone and more than 80 percentage of people involved in survey agree that mental health issues can happen to anybody strongly they agree this point and agree is 20 percentage neutral is 20 percentage so if we consider everything now everyone is affected by mental health issues everyone can get affected by this mental issues so holistic healing treatments for mental health problems can vary it can include a mix of therapy it can be a medication and it can be a support system so first it is support group like any people who is doing this uh, analysis and all stuff so that is around 20 percentage and counseling and therapy will help the people the most so it is around 50 percentage and medicines can also help the people it is around 25 percentage and alternative care accordance with this uh, problem it can be around 5 percentage so when do we seek professional help so when the person is having these symptoms they can uh, uh, consult a professional uh, like if we are eating too much or sleeping too much or too little we should consider that and having very less energy feeling unusually confused on edge or scared hearing voices or believing things that are untrue inability to perform daily tasks if we are uh, involved in any of these symptoms we should uh, ask a professional uh, help to get proper thing and we should not hesitate to seek professional help because uh, it's our health we should be very uh, clear and uh, clean about our health so we should not hesitate about it so these are my points regarding the mental health even it is the current growing uh, trend in the changing world we should be very aware about the uh, mental health issues so if you are affected by any of these symptoms please and please do not hesitate to uh, involve the professional help so meet uh, get a counseling or get a therapy so that will be very clear so we should not get uh, uh, like we should not get uh, a band from the situation we should not get be isolated it's a very common issue so we should not get uh, affected or uh, involved in these kind of issues so people should be very aware about it and this is my topic so people look after of your mental health it is very 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 essential in your uh, surviving thing so be aware about it thank you